What's up, TJ Gay? <laughs> oh, it was crazy. But what's up, TJ Gay? It's your girl Tisha, your boy. Who is you? I'm Mr. Thomas. Today. <laughs> okay, it's your girl, Mrs. Thomas, and your boy, Mr. Thomas. Black with a black. Back with another book book video. Yeah, well, book was already, right? It's okay. It's alright. But okay, so we we was asked to do a wedding update video and what perfect day to do it then our one year and you wanna know the truth. You wanna know the truth and the whole truth, nothing but truth. But well, uh, I've been, I've been okay, so, so I don't know, I can be I got my direct. little shot, y'all. You got fireball. I be I can be real direct today. Okay, wait, hold on, baby. Uh, okay, so last year, August 29th, 2020, at our baby shower, that's when he proposed. <laughs> he popped the question, so yeah, I was not expecting it. I did not see it coming, but I'm so happy it did. Like, one of the best days of my life, if I can redo it. I'd be pregnant just for that one day, just to do that moment all over again. Because <laughs> it was just a beautiful moment. Okay, so, wedding update. <sighs> Where do we start? Hold on. Let, hold on. Before start? I get to that, let me pay attention to this person that's swearing. Okay. Well, I guess why he paying attention to that because he's driving. We out celebrating. We. Yeah, I'm going to hit and miss. Like, she said what she's going to say. I'm going to listen, but I'm going to chime in. Yeah, okay. So. I'm going to say what she won't say. Mm, yeah. But first of all, check out the fits, though. Mm, mm. Mm. Check my boy out. He clean. Mm, he clean. Mm -hmm. And he handsome. Okay. But. Okay. So. We booked been a lot. Yo, start off it's, with it's that. It's been, been a lot. lot. It's been now, a lot. Before, before we even get deep in the wedding part, already in this year, we've already had new challenges that changed us and we learned about ourselves. Like, I want y'all to know this. Just because you get down on that knee and propose, life is still life. You know what I'm saying? It's still things that's going to affect your lady. It's still going to be things that affect your man. You know what I'm saying? Both of y'all deal with things different. That's a big thing. How she deal with things, it's not the same way I deal with things. How I deal with things ain't the same way she deal with things. And like, when you uh got a person that's strong, like we, I, I consider us both strong people, but we have our moments in our own way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot already, and this ain't this ain't even the full year. This year? Yeah, year today from, makes it a year. Yeah, so yeah, so I learned a lot about myself. And I, I just, I would say I realized a lot about myself that I didn't even, uh, didn't even know, you know what I'm saying? Or didn't even pay attention to uh, situations that came throughout this year, you know what I'm saying? It, it grew me to who I'm, I'm supposed to become, you know what I'm saying? So I can, I can say that, like, I'm grateful for everything. Let me make sure I say that, like, I don't take losses. I'm going to let y'all know I take lessons in every situation. No, so baby. I ain't worried about... What this motherfucker did, what that motherfucker did, or what this person did, or what man, it is what it is. Like one thing about me is like I'm strong at the end of the day. I can deal with a lot of shit people around me or know me and, or others can't even deal with. You know what I'm saying? Or can deal with if I was to do the same to them, you know? Yeah, okay. But, Oh, uh, okay, I was just gonna say okay. That's so how we ain't trying to show me <laughs> But no, but so far. We booked our wedding venue. We booked our DJ already. And all of these things are non-refundable deposits and payments that we have made so far. But the only thing that has been annoying, because like y'all, wedding planning has been so annoying. Like, I salute the brides and the groom that that made it through. Because, not saying like the, the bride and the groom as each other, what I'm saying like with the people that they chose to have be involved as well but the things that have been annoying to me and like hurt my feelings and I was like y'all know I'm sensitive Very about a lot of I stuff mean. or whatever but like the things that have annoyed me like the complaining the complaining like y'all about your wedding about our wedding not our hey, money not yours. but y'all and then y'all I'm so thoughtful and I'm so kind and I'm considering that like the things that I picked out for my people to do and to wear stuff, it was just always, oh, I don't like that. I want to wear this. Oh, I want to do this. No, you should do this. And it's just like, is this my day or is it your day? Like, what? Or like the non-communication. Like, I don't like if I'm hitting you up and I'm sending out messages and nobody responding. Like, 
but you will. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, or people just not getting the stuff in the right deadline. Cause I just feel like you got to do the stuff right then and there because you never know if it's gonna be sold out or nine or whatever. And then me, I'm not a last minute person when it comes to stuff. So I, I'm just, I'm not expecting everybody to be how I am. But when it comes to my wedding, I am. Because you don't have what I want you to have, then sorry, you're a guest. So we ended up coming. Do you got anything you want to say about that? Uh, I would say, personally, because I'm being honest, that I'm very, I, don't, I just don't care at this moment. I would say, you will learn about, you will learn, I'm going to say it like this in a more I'm already not. positive way. You will learn a lot about the people you That's surround fact. yourself That's by fact, around about situations like this. Because I know, put it like this, I know her heart and I know my heart. If the shoes was on the other motherfucking foot, I guarantee you, she going to beat her no. Well, what you want? Yeah. This is what we doing and vice versa. It wouldn't be out no matter what's going on in my life. One thing, and one thing for certain, one thing for sure. I'm going to support it. And I'm gonna yeah, and he's not lying. And then it be like the ones that's closer to you. You heard things that's being said about you behind your back or feelings that people feel and stuff. And you're yeah, you like, supposed to be what? Like, right you're supposed to be riding for me. Like, you're supposed to be right. happy for me. You're supposed to be here for me. And it's just like, that's how you feel or that's what you think. And it's just like, what? So it's just like the ones you least expect certain things from. It happened, and that shit hurt my feelings because, like, y'all see, I'm getting cut, I'm cussing and stuff, but that hurt my feelings because, y'all, I'm so freaking genuine and I'm so supportive. And it was like the fact that we not getting that same back in return, like, that hurts my feelings, y'all. So, well, what we decided to do, well, I don't know, I think we still kind of sitting on it, but this has been a discussion that we talked about just like not having a wedding party. And like, I'm still have my sister standing by my side, of course. You know, that's my sister. I had no issues with her. That's my maid of honor. And he would still have his cousin. His cousin is his best man. Like, them been the ones that just been like, Do it all, no matter everything. the changes, yeah, no matter so, the problems, the issues. Like, it ain't, one thing about me, this, this is how I feel. Like, this is, this is just me being vulnerably honest. If anybody that I grew up with, that I consider my, consider a brother, or anything. If this day big day, whatever you need, I'm not. That's all. That's that. Cause this moment, for, it ain't about me. It ain't about me at all. Like it's about you. It's about your happiness. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like one thing about my cousin. Shout out to you, cousin. Like not not one one problem. Not one. Yeah. And look, don't get it twisted. I'm an understanding person. Man. Don't get it twisted. But it's like. Mm -hmm. Things just seem to look different. That's, yeah, so, this is all I gotta say. Things so, seem different. Yeah, so we had thought about. Okay, so I did. Like I told y'all, we ended up booking our wedding video. We actually made a video about that in the day that we booked it. We recorded about it. You know, we were so excited and all of that, whatever. Okay, so what we had talked about doing was like just going to a, a chapel. I had ended up finding a chapel. Know what's, name, what's that place that we went in Central at one time? It's a bill street. You wanna go down? That for what? But I mean, no, I find something. Well, uh, what's Yeah, we out right now to celebrate. Uh, uh, we, we plan, but we ain't planning. Yeah, it was like plans, we'll we figure left. something out and then we'll change the mind. It was crazy. We ain't agreed but, completely yet. Yeah. We're trying to figure out. Yeah. So I'm jumping out the window. Yeah, it. so now we just riding, you know, whatever. So, okay. Blogging. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, but yeah, okay, so we, uh, I ended up finding this chapel and I was like, okay, well, we can do a small ceremony, you know, we can have our mamas and grandparents and our, uh, you know, just close friends, close, well, close family. Yeah, <laughs> we can, uh, how do not, but we would still do the big reception since we had already started paying on it, whatever. Like, I'll turn up with y'all, but y'all would not stand next to me on my big day and y'all ain't been grand with us through this whole process. What? Okay, but. So we have talked about doing that. But then it was just like, my cousin is engaged too. So me, Juan, and my cousin and his fiance, we always talking about weddings, whatever. You know, they like, you know, it ain't about nobody. Shout it's out about to you. them. Shout, Shout out, out to them. them. Shout out to like, them. Her family, low key. You know, I just want to say this just thought it off. Her family dope as shit. I ain't even gonna Thank lie. You. Like, our family solid. Like, I like anybody know, I'm, I'm family oriented. So, like, when I see, I, I know how my family is, you know what I'm saying? 
hiccups in there, a lot of hiccups, you know, but like to be around her family and just see, like, I'm all about saying, like, you know, family come out, support each other, just love each other, man. Like, I'm for that, man. I'm, that's what I'm about. That's what I'm used to. Yeah, so we were just talking about weddings or whatever. You know, they just like, it's about y'all. It ain't about nobody else, which we already noticed. Yeah, we but, it. you know, I did. We just, like to incorporate everybody. I was just going to say, we just still wanted to incorporate the ones that we consider close to our horse or whatever so they like it's about y'all that's what y'all want to do do that and it's just like at the same time i do feel like me and jay we we didn't been through some stuff we've been riding this what 10 years now but we known each other since we was teenagers and then you know we lost contact for a few years then we reconnected in 2012 and we just been dug it ever since so it's like i do feel like we do deserve to have a nice ceremony or whatever. I feel like we deserve to celebrate our relationship or whatever. So that's something we just been sitting on or whatever. So Same line. yeah, so I do feel like we and then I feel like in the, yeah, yeah. And then I feel like in the beginning when my man proposed, he had in his head he wanted a big wedding. And then cause I will always tell him we don't need a big wedding. I'll go to the courthouse and he like, no, you I wanna give you a big wedding, you deserve a big wedding, I want one. This is my first and last time getting married. Like he said that from the gate. So at the same time, he made me excited about having but, a big win. But in the same breath, you can't help fighting like, things that go on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying it may not be a possibility, but like I'm gonna be I'm I'm just being honest. I gotta see some shit on the other side to see if I'm really if we really go do that. I'm gonna be real, like, cause I'm gonna be 100. I don't mind if it's just me and her and who the fuck wants to be. I feel like that's I'll be 100 because, like, like I said, I know myself, man. Anybody else in these shoes that I know, I'm nerd. Cool, no question. You ain't got what? When my deadline? Yeah, and that's, when I when that's, I need to be there. Like, yeah. it ain't no excuses with me. Like, I don't give a fuck what's going on. And it, even in that, that's the thing about me. Even if it is something going on. I'm gonna keep you posted, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, this ain't about me. Yeah. It's about you. Yeah. So, I'm gonna keep you, hey, you know what? I may not be able to get these tucks at this moment, but I have it by this moment. Is that cool? Oh, okay, it's cool. Like, people don't, people, communication. Yeah, because it's like when you, it's not that hard, well, yeah, because it's like if you pick something for your wedding and you sharing it with somebody and they, well, Especially, I'm why this? Why that? Why, and, it's like the fuck, and it's like and the fuck. Say email some feed. So it's just like the fuck. So it's like I'm so nice to the point where I won't say what I'm feeling, but I just Boy, ignore it. Me. Yeah, like so I just ignore it or I just get quiet. Like the people that know me, they know when I get silent, I have an issue with it or whatever. So yeah, but that's annoying. But then again, I get annoyed because I'm like I'm holding it all in. But yeah, I'm talking to him about it. But it's just like and if you know I'm just any over, other like, man out there, if your girl telling you something and it's bothering her, and you know she. Nothing about nothing bothers me more because like I, one thing about her, she's like sweet, sweet. She's really fucking nice. Me, I'm nice, but I can be a fucking asshole right at that same breath. So I'm a little bit of both. But like when I know like she really on her sweet shit and people bullshit, I'm I'm gonna let some of y'all know. She saved y'all because I I don't mind being honest. I know how to communicate. I tell you, you know some bullshit. See? I don't yeah. care how you feel. You know some bullshit. Yeah. Some people need to be called out on that shit, but. Because of her, I, I stay in my lane. Yeah, so it's like, I feel like we haven't even been able to enjoy our engagement for real, for real, because... On me, it's been, honestly, our engagement throughout this whole year been bittersweet, because it, and I'm going to make you like this, too. It ain't been just that. We got our own, you know, our own life shit going on. Being parents, you know, raising a new baby, you know what I'm saying, jobs, all, everything has been... I say this year, I ain't gonna say been against us, but we've been battling a lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just like, I feel like. Shit ain't been a smooth road. Yeah. Been a whole lot of bumps and motherfucking potholes. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like, now that like I'm over the postpartum and stuff, I feel like. Wish you hadn't we... tell me about y'all. No key may be made. <laughs> but it's just like now. Ladies, like, tell. Nope, cut off. Ladies, tell y'all. Tell your man if you're going through post. Stop being super warming all the time yeah. and talk to. That's what we here for. Yeah, talk like, to like no bullshit, no bullshit. I remember it enough. I remember she was having a conversation with one of our homegirls, and they was talking about. It. And I was just like, 
you was going through this shit and we lived in the house and you and Tim, low key, I felt the and whole way. And it wasn't way. even that. I felt the whole way. way. I was yeah. upset. And I'm it like, was like, it what was, about her for it? Yeah, and it wasn't like I wasn't comfortable with Made telling. Made me feel the way. Yeah, it wasn't like I wasn't comfortable telling you nothing. It was just like, Tisha, I'm super warm, man. It was just like, I got it. It's all and in I control. Could, that's all that was. Like, look down, look down. Look that's down. all. <laughs> Y'all, when I say, look, the car thing is on the window. Y'all, this my, like, with my fifth one this year. I don't know how they just keep fucking breaking. And it's getting on my nerves. But, um, yeah. But, yeah, but it wasn't like I was uncomfortable with telling you. And so, they just, I was put on the break face. But then, when, and then, y'all, ever since that day, I opened up and I let him know what was going on and how I was feeling. When I opened up and said it out loud to him, you like a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air, yeah. And I feel like that day right there was the day where it just like it just went away. And when I say everything's been right back on track, everything has been great. And I feel like now we finally able. We going back. Enjoy our we so we're going. We're on the incline again. You know, yeah. at first we was at a consistent just a consistent yeah because i would wake up and just be like in the dumps and i just couldn't get out of it sometimes a weeks at a time like june the whole month of june i was just there and it was just like everything uh, ain't been like but, i said i'll be real with y'all and then and this is for uh men as well especially men because i know we don't open up a lot i ain't bitch i done told her i ain't been the most happiest Everything ain't been so easy for me because when you the man of a household, you worrying about your lady, your kids, bills, trying to get. It's been hard to pro like. Any, if anybody know, I don't know if I ever seen old videos or something. I ain't never had no father figure or no, you know what I'm saying, no good father figure. Nobody taught me no ropes of. Oh, this is what you should do. This is how you deal with this. Be patient. Pray. Move this way. Move. I'm figuring everything out from scratch. Like legit scratch. Every decision I make is me making what I think is the best decision. And I'm going to be honest. All my decisions are not the best decision at all. You know what I'm saying? But she would tell you, I'm just genuinely for real. I'm just trying. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to just do everything right. But we, 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 just, we just had this conversation. But I had to understand I am not perfect. I'm not God. I'm sorry. I, I can't be him. I'm a part of him, but I'm not him. And that, that was my biggest thing. I just wanted to do everything right. But that put trying to do everything right, you'll put pressure on you that you never knew you had. Because when you make a fucking mistake or you do some shit you know you shouldn't have done, you, oh my God, it's like I'm, you you sink in this hole and now you just you just lost within yourself. Don't do that to yourself, fellas. Like it's okay, like women too, because I, yeah, I women, felt that. <laughs> yeah, like don't 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 do yourself like that. I get it, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Not only as a black man and as a black woman, like it's just hard. To do things right, get your credit up, pay the bills on time. You know, make sure your kids happy. Make sure you spend enough time with this kid, not more than the other kid. Making sure you get this done and make sure everything done. Making sure your lady happy. You see, like it's a lot. It's a fucking lot. But you know what I'm saying? As long as you communicate, pray, and just try, man. More than anything, try. You gotta try. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's my thing. Like. We don't talk about that often. Like, as long as you give your all, as long as we know we tried in at the end of the day. And she know I'm not, I'm not, we always talk, talk, we talk about our relationship a lot. We ain't even, we ain't even just give up on each other. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, I feel like, and I'm not saying this to say it like this, but I feel like, <laughs> I want to say this correct. See, I feel like other cultures, I'm going to use that, other cultures don't give up on each other like we do. We don't understand that if you're going to be with somebody 30, 40, 50 years, it's going to be shit in there now. Even with the people that we may look in our families. Like, and West Point Social over here? I'm, I'm just, I'm just driving. Uh, and, uh, they've been together 20, 30 years in your family. They may not tell you, but they've been through some shit now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I had to understand. So I have an understanding, like, I've told you, like, I just expect this. I ain't going to say I expect it, but I'm not going to be naive to them. We not gonna be on the same page all the time. Like she's gonna change every year. You know yeah, what I'm cause you always changing, you evolving. always growing, you always evolving. Like we just go continue, we gonna continue we to learn each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that be the thing. You get so caught up. I got so caught up in like, like I said, just trying to be perfect. And I'm like, man, being perfect ain't for me. Like uh -huh. I just want to be me and be happy. Like you know what I'm saying? I learned along the way. Yeah. I don't know what for we do. We just be trying. Yeah, cause I, I know. What was it? Pink Galleon, Westport Social. I know it's time to eat. I, I don't know. Like yeah, that. I'm hungry. 
But um, maybe I need to go back that way. Yeah. But overall, as of now, the engagement life has been lit. It's getting. I always, getting lit I always loved my man. I always wanted to marry him, be with him. That was never that in my mind. And now, but hold on. I'm glad she said that. But man, it's funny, y'all. No bullshit. We do have our moments where we question shit. Like, no lie, I'd be like, you, still, you sure you want to be with me? Yeah, I cannot stand shit. it. He randomly would be like, you still love me? Or you still want to be with me? And I'm just like, dude, I, I love y'all dirty drives. I'm not even going nowhere ever. But look, at least Ooh. I care the more. I yeah. gotta make sure. But look, don't let her lie. Hey, don't let her get it twisted. She be tripping too. But she in her little motions. I don't know if you still want to be with me. <laughs> I don't know if I, I winked. No, but that, but that was just like when I was going through postpartum and stuff, and it's just like, Man, I, don't I didn't know, know about it. Yeah, because it, it'd be just like days where, like, I ain't even, and y'all know this is not me at all. Like, y'all know this me 24 7. I'm always real put together. So it'd be like, I noticed that whole week, I ain't do my hair. I'm just walking around and tossing this robe in these stupid ass clothes. And I'm like, dang, like, I ain't even been sexy for him, so like, am I turning him off or whatever? So it'll just be like stuff like that, but I'm back to me. Babe, mm, mommy, I don't know. Mm, but, so, but I guess that's our wedding update. But as of now, we still. Man, be paid. Hey, look, up. to anybody else that may get engaged in this world or trying to go down this path, my, my, my advice continue to be you. You know what I'm saying? Don't change, don't change who you are just because you in a, you're you're engaged. Like, okay, so what? That's just you, you're engaged. You know what I'm saying? You made a decision. Like, you know what? This person I can see myself being with for the long haul. Okay, but be you. Still focus on your independent shit. Yeah, for but you sure. know, be vulnerable enough to depend on each other. Communicate. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Be patient with one Listen, another. I know it's hard. Like, every, yeah, everything I'm saying is not no easy task. Like. Because it may be a day you're not patient, and you need to be patient. So it's gonna be trial and error. But one thing about this life is like you gonna learn along the way. Whether you make a mistake, whether you fuck up, whether you're not patient, whether you is patient, it's okay. You will get there. And it's just like long as y'all on the same page, you got the just same don't goals. Y'all don't good. give up. Fight that fight you, together. Look, you know when to give up. You know. I'm saying yeah, like we know what would happen. Yeah, I'm like, as long as you ain't cheating on me, you ain't disrespecting me, you ain't beat my kids. We good. We straight. You know at the end of the day, uh, yeah. just try. Yeah, more but, than anything. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just fight. Yeah, man. Just, but, just know it's like I said, it's not gonna be no easy road. You're not gonna be perfect. And if you know, how do I wanna say it? Niggas know, well, yeah, men know. I I'm like, <laughs> men, you know, women, you know, like, if you, if you fuck up, you make mistakes, whatever, who, whoever, just show that person that you genuinely willing to let them know, hey, fuck on the shit, own up to your shit, and just let them know, like, I'm still okay. Yeah, because y'all with us, we talk about everything, so it's like, even when we do, like, have issues, we might not talk about it in that moment, you know, just letting it pass through processing but we always have been very good at communicating and we know how to talk to each other like we don't argue like we don't be like well yeah, we blah, never, blah 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 yeah, blah like never, yeah we, we, we never like done that like we always sit down and talk maturely with each other like because we, honestly and i ain't no knock against the people that's right right you know what i'm saying i remember them days but that shit ain't for me yeah and i want i want i want to right. be i like to communicate right you may not hurt you may want to you may hear shit you don't want to hear, but I respect that because, like I said, whether she fuck up or I fuck up, let's just talk about the shit. Yeah. Let's get an understanding, okay, why you did this. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like, you know what I'm saying? You got to have them uncomfortable conversations. For sure, definitely. And you got to be willing to accept the and uh, criticism. Let's make sure we understand some things. Because a lot of people think, oh, people just break up over cheating. People just break. I mean, cheating is like up there. I get that. It's a lot more than going to. It. It's other shit. You may not can't deal with the other person's family. That may be enough to be like. And thank God. You know what I'm we saying? We get along with our in-laws. Thank yeah, God. Like, don't get it twisted. It's other things that can break a relationship because you you get fed up on shit. Yeah, okay. Now I feel like we're rambling. 
Okay, so as far as wearing a base, so now I guess it's kind of still like we getting married still next year for sure. We still, I guess it's just Maybe. up in the air. She may not get mad, so I don't uh, know. We gonna spank me? Nope, you gonna like it. <laughs> but uh, so I guess like a big ceremony or small ceremony is just still kind of up in the air. Man, we gonna we gonna let y'all know when we know completely. <laughs> yeah, when we know completely, so. That's the wedding of the. I don't know if we're gonna still do a big ceremony just with no wedding party. She or said she we gonna just gonna... that sandwich. <laughs> yay, yay! No. Oh, she, she had the spit still attached to her mouth and her she sandwich. That was just gross. Hungry. But, um, um bar, or if we're gonna do a small ceremony with just our close family, like, we still just don't really know that. But, man, just, hey, pray for us, don't pray ring. on us. Hey, you hear what I'm um, saying? Pray for us, don't I need pray on us. You know what Red saying? ring. Why my ring keep turning? Forget what you talking about. We want to see. Red ring over pinky ring. Tell us how that word again. Wedding ring over no, pinky ring. Right. <laughs> Show your ring, baby. Okay. Ah! <laughs> That's but right. no, hey, look, like I said, man, pray for us, not on us. You know what I'm saying? And, you no, know, Lee, y'all like too, man. We want to see everybody win. We want to see other couples win. We want to see everybody. For sure. And we want more couple. couple friends. Like, yeah, hey, if there's some couples out there, what's up, man? We ain't doing no swinging, though. Yeah, no shit like that. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so, sports, yeah, he was all in his nose. But as far as but random up there, wife, that's that I'm home. at. And I'm going to beat your ass. Why do I got to get beat up? With me. But, uh, okay. 1 hey, 800. I wear a ring. My wife, you'll beat your ass. <laughs> See, that's what I'm waiting on. <laughs> but, uh, so, yes. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, come kick it with TJ, because we like stuff for you, gang. We in this thing. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. any more video She replay? bashed it. She Let cleaned us, her hands out. She, really she like, yeah, that's shit. And all I can like think about is this spit. Hey, y'all, I'm not a person that can eat in the car. That's random, but. Okay, baby, back. We finna eat this, okay? No. Okay, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all gonna watch the first five let minutes. Us, not I know that's why I tried to keep it 20 minutes or less, but it's cool. She just made it six. It's all right. We, but, gonna, we gonna delete it. Baby, but uh, let us know what else y'all wanna hear, what else y'all wanna know, what else y'all wanna see, all that good stuff. All right, TK gang.